the world is going to be at least 50 million workers short. We're probably going to have to pay robots $50,000 a year to come to work. And so this is going to be a very, very large industry. Um, the time have, has come for robots. Let's talk about robots. Physical AI and robotics are moving so fast. Everybody pay attention to this space. This could very well likely be the largest industry of all. Yes, by 2030, robots could be earning $50,000 a year, working right beside you. How is this possible? Let's dive into NVIDIA's game-changing announcements at GTC 2025. But before that, here's a glimpse of what are these robots learning to do? What if robots could learn and adapt like humans, walk among us, not just in factories or labs, but in our homes, offices, and streets, reshaping our world with every step they take? In this video, we dive into NVIDIA's jaw-dropping announcements for 2025, unveiling an amazing reveal about Isaac Groot N1, a game changer for humanoid robots, and the irresistibly cute and charming blue robot that's pushing the boundaries of innovation. Get ready to explore how these breakthroughs promise to revolutionize industries and everyday life, all while building up to a stunning reveal about the future of robotics that will flip your perspective upside down. Stick around to the end to see it unfold. Let's go talk about robotics, shall we? At GTC 2025, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang took the stage and declared, the time has come for robots. He painted a picture of a future where robots fill the gaps in our workforce, addressing the global shortage of human labor. By the end of this decade, we might be paying robots $50,000 a year to work for us. Let's hear that in his own words. Well, the time has come, the time have, has come for robots. Uh, robots have the benefit, the benefit of being able to interact with the physical world. Uh, we know very clearly that the world is, has severe shortage of, ro of human laborers, human workers. By the end of this decade, the world is going to be at least 50 million workers short. We'd be more than delighted to pay them each $50,000 to come to work we're probably going to have to pay robots $50,000 a year to come to work. And so this is going to be a very, very large industry. It's a bold vision, but with the advancements we're about to explore, it's closer than you think. But what makes this moment so pivotal? It's the convergence of three critical challenges in robotics. Data, model architecture, and scaling. NVIDIA has tackled these head-on with their latest innovations, and today, we're gonna dive deep into how they're changing the game. At its core, we have the same challenges. As I mentioned before, there are three that we focus on. They are rather systematic. One, how do you solve the data problem? How, where do you create the data necessary to train the AI? Two, what's the model architecture? And then three, what's the scaling loss? How can we scale either the data, the compute, or both so that we can make AIs smarter and smarter and smarter? How do we scale? And those two, those fundamental problems exist in robotics as well. Isaac Groot N1, the world's first open-sourced foundation model for humanoid robotics. This isn't just another AI model, it's a game changer. For years, the robotics field has been fragmented, with each company or researcher building their own proprietary systems. But now, with Groot N1, there's a unified platform that anyone can access and build upon. Think about it. 
a model that can learn tasks, make decisions, and adapt to new environments. It's like giving every robotics developer a head start, a foundation to innovate faster and more efficiently. But how does it work? What's under the hood that makes Groot N1 so special? In robotics, we created a system called Omniverse. It's our operating system for physical AIs. You've heard me talk about Omniverse for a long time. We added two technologies to it. Today I'm going to show you two things. One of them is so that we could scale AI with generative capabilities. A generative model that understands the physical world. We call it Cosmos. The dual system approach. At the core of Isaac Groot N1 is a revolutionary dual system architecture. It's inspired by how humans think and act. You see, we have two modes of thinking. One that's fast and instinctive, and another that's slow and deliberate. In Groot N1, System 1 is the fast-thinking action model. It's trained to react instantly to changes in the environment, like avoiding obstacles or grasping objects. System 2 is the slow-thinking model, which uses a vision language model to reason about the world and plan actions. Together, these systems allow robots to perform complex tasks that require both quick reflexes and strategic thinking. For example, a robot could navigate a crowded room, System 1, while deciding the best path to reach its destination, System 2. But training such a model requires vast amounts of data. Where does that data come from? Using Omniverse to condition Cosmos and using Cosmos to generate an infinite number of environments allows us to create data that is grounded, grounded, controlled by us, and yet be systematically infinite at the same time. Okay, so you see Omniverse, we use candy colors to give you an example of us controlling the robot in the scenario perfectly, and yet Oz Cosmos can create all these virtual environments. The second thing, just as we were talking about earlier, one of the incredible scaling capabilities of language models today is reinforcement learning, verifiable rewards. The question is, what's the verifiable rewards in robotics? And as we know very well, it's the laws of physics. Verifiable physics rewards. Newton, the physics engine breakthrough. To train robots effectively, we need a way to simulate the real world accurately. That's where Newton comes in. Let's see how Jensen Huang explains it. And so we need an incredible physics engine. Well, most physics engines have been designed for a variety of reasons. They could be designed because we want to use it for large machineries, or uh, maybe we design it for uh, virtual worlds, video games, and such. But we need a physics engine that is designed for very fine-grained, rigid, and soft bodies, designed for being able to train tactile feedback and fine motor skills and actuator controls. We need it to be GPU accelerated so that we, these virtual worlds could live in super linear time, super real time, and train these AI models incredibly fast. And we need it to be integrated harmoniously into a framework that is used by roboticists all over the world, Mujoko. And so today we're announcing something really, really special. It is a partnership of three companies, DeepMind, Disney Research, and NVIDIA, and we call it Newton. Developed in collaboration with Google DeepMind and Disney Research, Newton is a physics engine designed specifically for robotics. It's built to handle fine-grained, rigid, and soft body simulations, tactile feedback, and precise actuator controls. And it's GPU accelerated, meaning it can run simulations faster than real time, allowing for rapid training of AI models. Newton is integrated with popular robotics frameworks like Mujoko, making it accessible to researchers worldwide. This is crucial because it provides a standardized platform for developing and testing robotic behaviors. But perhaps the most exciting part is how Newton enables the creation of robots like Blue. Let's take a look at Newton. Oh, my God. 
Tell me that wasn't amazing. Hey, Blue. How are you doing? How do you like? How do you like your new physics engine? You like it, huh? Yeah, I bet. I know. Blue, the future of robotics. Blue is not your typical robot. Designed by Disney Research, Blue is adorable, expressive, and inspired by ducklings. Yes, ducklings. The team used ducklings as an inspiration to model and train Blue to walk, jump, and even dance. How did they do it? By leveraging Newton and the Isaac Groot architecture. They created digital versions of Blue in simulated environments, where the robots were rewarded for mimicking the movements of ducklings. After countless iterations in the digital world, the trained models were uploaded to physical robots, bringing Blue to life. Now, while Blue is still controlled by a human operator, its movements and interactions are incredibly lifelike, marking a significant step toward autonomous, engaging robots. Imagine the possibilities. Robots that can entertain, assist, and even empathize with us. Blue is a glimpse into that future, but scaling this technology is the next challenge. Training with synthetic data. One of the biggest hurdles in robotics is acquiring enough high-quality training data. Real-world data collection is slow and costly. But with the Isaac Groot blueprint, NVIDIA has found a way to generate synthetic data at an unprecedented scale. And listen to what Jensen had to say about that. Can you imagine just now what you were looking at is com complete real-time simulation? This is how we're going to train robots in the future. Uh, just so you know, Blue has uh, two computers, two NVIDIA computers inside. Okay, we have another amazing news. I told you the progress of our robotics has been making enormous progress. And today we're announcing that Groot N1 is open sourced. Yes, you heard that right, open source. Groot N1 is open sourced. Using this blueprint, developers can create vast amounts of synthetic motion trajectories from just a few human demonstrations. In one example, the system generated over 780,000 synthetic trajectories in just 11 hours equivalent to nine months of continuous human data collection. This synthetic data is then used to train robot policy models, significantly boosting their accuracy and performance. In fact, combining synthetic and real data improved Groot N1's performance by 40% compared to using only real data. This is a breakthrough that will accelerate robotics development, making it faster and more efficient to train robots for real-world applications. Real-world applications and impact. The advancements in humanoid robotics powered by Isaac Groot, N1, and Newton have the potential to transform numerous industries. In manufacturing, robots can take on repetitive or hazardous tasks, increasing efficiency and safety. With their ability to learn and adapt, they can handle diverse jobs without extensive reprogramming. In healthcare, humanoid robots could assist with patient care, from lifting and moving patients to providing companionship and support. In entertainment, as seen with Blue, robots can create immersive experiences, bringing characters to life in ways previously unimaginable. Moreover, the open source nature of Groot N1 democratizes robotics development, allowing innovators and businesses to build upon this foundation without barriers. This will lead to a surge of creativity and innovation in the field. As Jensen Huang said, the age of generalist robotics is here. With these tools, we're on the brink of a robotic revolution that will change how we live and work. So remember that jaw-dropping idea we started with? Robots earning $50,000 a year by 2030. Well, after diving into NVIDIA's groundbreaking announcements at GTC 2025, it's clear that this future isn't just possible. It's already in motion. With the open-sourced Isaac Groot N1, we're not only solving the labor shortage crisis, but democratizing robotics for innovators everywhere. And let's not forget Blue. 
the adorable robot that's already charming its way into our hearts while pushing the boundaries of what's possible. The age of intelligent, adaptable robots is no longer a distant dream. It's here, and it's open to everyone. Hey, if this video on NVIDIA's robotics revolution sparked your curiosity like it did ours, smash that like button to give us a shout. Loved it enough to spread the word? Share it with someone who needs to see these game-changing innovations. It might just ignite their next big idea. We're growing a community of tech dreamers here, so subscribe if you're not already on board. More mind-bending content is coming your way. Drop a comment below and let us know what blew your mind or what you're dying to explore next. Your voice shapes what we create. Together, let's fuel the future of innovation.